Hey guys, this is Gman129. We're going to build a battle mech. If you look in the description, I posted a link to where I've gone over the steps behind my process, but today we're going to put them into action. The first step is deciding what kind of mech we want to build. Uh, right now I feel like making a harasser, which is going to be sort of like an agile attack mech. Not meant for the middle of the brawl, but it's not going to be a long range support mech at all. And now it's time for us to pick a chassis. Usually, you're best off going with a medium for this kind of mech, and my favorites for the job are the Centurion and the Trebuchet. Let's try out a Centurion now. We're going to go with the 9A because it's well, it's a classic choice for a harasser and has some established builds, but we're gonna we're gonna make something new, just so that we can have some fun. So we've got three missile slots over here. Let's drop some streaks in. I like to use streaks if I can have two or more of them. Three is really nice. So now let's move on to the center torso where we have two energy slots. We're going to go with medium lasers here because we could put in a large laser, but it would just be too heavy, I think, and we wouldn't be able to fit anything that's really considerable into the right arm. And for the right arm, we got one ballistic slot, and I don't want to put in anything too big because then the entire mech would end up being focused around that one weapon, and we want it to be relatively balanced. But we'll put in a LB-10X, which is a very, it's a rather mid-sized weapon, you know? It's not too big, it's not too heavy, it's just right. So now we'll need ammo. Uh, for our LBX, two tons should be enough, especially considering how often that arm is going to get blown off. So let's let's put in two at first, and if we find out that we need more after playtesting it, we'll, we'll just fix that. And for the streaks, my rule of thumb is I take the number of launchers, I divide it by two and round down, and then I add one to that. So three divided by two rounded down is going to get you one, and then you add one to that for two. Just a basic guideline I use, but it usually works. Now we'll have two tons of ammo for the streak launchers, too. Uh, we'll put it all into the legs just because they're going to be less likely to blow than most other parts of the mech. Alright, next we're going to want to put in the Beagle Active Probe so that we know that we'll be able to lock on with those streaks. A lot of the job of this mech is going to be keeping those light mechs off of your big guys, and streaks are going to help out a lot with that and you're going to need the Beagle if they're going to have any ECM mechs at all. Alright, so now let's look at what kind of engine we're going to want. We can use an XL if we want, but since it's going to be in the heat of the battle, I think we're going to be best off with a standard engine, because that way we'll be able to zombie if we have to, and just we'll be able to stick around for a much longer than if we had an XL. Now that we've got that down, let's look at what kind of upgrades we want it. After putting in the standard, we should have 31 slots left, which means that we can fit an Endo and a Pharaoh and be pretty safe. Let's max out the armor here. I like to go for the front to back on the side torsos and center torso. I like to get a ratio between 3 to 1 and 4 to 1 for my short range mechs. So we'll put 38 in front, 10 in back on the side torsos, and 40, no, let's call it 50 in front, and 14 in back for the center torso. Alright, you see that extra arm we have there, the .07? We're going to want to get rid of that, so let's drop the left arm down to 16. There's nothing in there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And, alright, so that should be good. Now, we don't have enough weight left for a standard 250, which is the smallest engine we can get that won't require a double heatsink outside of the engine. That means that we're going to have to put in uh, extra double heatsink, so let's drop it in the left torso. I think it's best to go there because that way it'll reduce the chance of the enemy critting one of your more important parts like your bat or your streaks. So now we have almost enough weight left to fit in a standard 225. I think it's worth getting rid of that extra half ton of armor because again you don't have anything in the left arm so you can afford to drop that. Uh, I'm gonna put it at 2 just so that they don't know you have no armor in there at all. And for the legs, let's drop them down to 46. Alright, so now we can fit in our standard 225 engine. Looks like this should be good, and here, let's build it out in the mech lab. Alright, so you see here that I built our Centurion out in the mech lab, exactly as we had it in Smurfies. And we could just jump into a battle like this, but I think we should put in some modules first so that we can run it as efficiently as possible. 
if you're willing to run a consumable module, I would recommend using the CoolShot 9x9 because although this build isn't particularly hot, every once in a while you will get into a one-on-one -on -one situation where it's either you or him and you just gotta take the other guy down as quickly as possible and you can't afford to be running that hot. So next I would recommend running the advanced seismic sensor. It's really great. You can't get surprised and you can check around corners too basically. If you don't master it out, these are the only two modules you'll be able to run because you'll only have two module slots. But if you do have master, I would recommend also bringing the cap accelerator. I would also recommend bringing this if you don't want to take a consumable like cool shot and you just want a regular module because it's not a particularly fast mech and you're not going to be going for those quick cap outs but every once in a while you will find yourself on the enemy cap and it's going to be the only way for you to win the game basically and if you have the three module slots and you don't want to take a consumable you got some good other things to choose between I would recommend going for target decay or 360 target retention but in the end it's up to you Alright, so we've got all our modules in, our mech is completely built, and I think it's time for us to jump into a match. Alright, looks like we're on River City Conquest mode. Let's see what we've got. Mainly medium, some heavies, a light, an assault. Five mediums, you don't see those games very often. Reactor online. Although I guess it is conquest. I've also noticed a lot less pop tarting these days. Not sure if it's because people are getting bored of it, or maybe, maybe they just thought the PBC nerf was really bad. I, I think it's the first one. I'm gonna follow up the cicada, it's getting tagged and ECM'd. Can't even see what's out there. Is that a commando? Yeah, it's a commando. That's a raven. Alright. Oops. Damn, getting double ECM. Beagle can't take it. Oh, there we go. Damn it, Commando, go away! I want to kill you, Raven. Thanks. <laughs> Can't really use messes against him because he's too deep in the water. Oh, except for there. Nah, no, still can't do it. Alright, I'm starting to take some fire. That's a stalker. Take that! He's neutered. Warning, <laughs> fuck. Or, oh, that's not no one. That's their. Oh, fuck. Where's their LRM boat? Whatever. He's got an LRM 10. Wouldn't charge an LRM boat, but since it's just a 10, I can afford to do it. Oh, almost out of ammo. Maybe I should back on an extra ton. Eh, nah. This should be fine.
still got a round of LB10X left. Alright, they're almost dead already. New target acquired. Commando 2D's out. Oh, you just died. Surprised by how long you lived, though. Now, we want to make this one last shot of LBX count, so... Yeah, that was, that was effective. Alright, where's the last guy? Why did my reticle just turn red? Or is am I just seeing things again? Come on, son. Oh, gamma. Or ah, that's at their base. Target acquired. Oh, <laughs> what? Where was he the whole fight? I kind of feel bad for their team now. I sort of 6, 4, and 2. Why? But you just want to run 3 SRM4s if you're going to do that. Easier to manage the cycle time. Same, same heat, same weight, bus slots. It's just completely unnecessary. Alright, that's game. Not bad. It was pretty fun too. Alright, well this is the Centurion 9A Harasser, LB10X, 3 streaks and 2 mediums. See you next time.